So yesterday during the EFF's protest in Brackenfell, I came across this video of a white UCT student, University of Cape Town student, who was in support of the EFF. In fact, let me play you guys the first video that I came across of him speaking to the media. Markovitz, I was born and raised in Cape Town. I live in Cape Town. The, the situation here in Brackenville is the same as every single white neighborhood in the whole country. The racism is instilled in the bones of these people. The only difference is here that it's more open and violent. Um, I went to a private school with mostly white kids and this thing happened all over. We had parties where we didn't invite the black kids. Black kids only hung out with each other. It's a violent space to grow up in in this country. Nothing has changed. It's only gotten worse in the past 30 years. And today I think we want to have that confrontation with these whites. I saw these private security guys standing there with their guns. They're threatening us. The PPA has been threatening us. It's a violent state to live in. And today I think it's time we fight back. Look, you guys heard what I heard as well. You know, I'm, I was in awe when I was hearing this. I was like, really? Is this guy trolling? Is this guy just being a troll or something like that? But nah, there's actually more videos that followed from the guy. So before we get into all of that, please do me a huge favor. If you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button. Hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. So yeah, after that video that I saw, I came across another video of the same student talking to the press. This is a little bit later on during the day, as you can see in the background, there's a lot of commotion. This is what he had to say. I'm standing in solidarity with the EFF and Blackland first, and we're standing against the Cape Party and the DA, which are trying to uphold white supremacy. And we're here to start the conversation about transferring the generational wealth and land over to the historically disenfranchised population of Azania. Are you a member of the EFF? Since I've been 18 years old, I've been a member of the EFF. What is it about the EFF that has attracted you? It's just their message. Um, it's frankly come too late. Uh, their message of transferring the generational wealth that has been stolen. The property that exists in expensive white areas in this country needs to be transferred. And they're speaking about that. No other party is speaking about that. The ANC is a neoliberal centrist organization. They're not interested in doing any of this. The EFF has spoken something we all feel and we all talk about as young people. What is your message to young people in South Africa and especially white South Africans? We're at a precipice in history. We are holding on to our parents' money and our parents' land. We need to hand it over as quick as humanly possible. There was not healing in 94. There needs to be mass healing and reparations in this country. And it's up to us white people to transfer that wealth and that power. All right, at this point, you know, I'm not really thinking that uh, he is captured because he clearly does say that he is actually a member of the EFF. And he does talk about the Cape Party. Funny enough, I actually saw a clip from the Cape Party leader who had the following to say. What's your name? Uh, Jack Miller, leader of the K-Party. Uh, why are you here today? Uh, we're here to stand in solidarity with the Brackenfell parents, school kids and residents. And what is the K-Party all about for people who are not aware of the party? The K-Party, we're basically a grassroots organization that uh, believes in that we can still have a rainbow nation right here in an independent Western Cape. We think that this dream of a rainbow nation has been destroyed by the ANC and even worse by the EFF. So we're here today to stand for true uh, non-racialism and uh, the only racists that we see here in Brackenfell today are the EFF. And uh, are you calling for the independence of this province? Yes, we are. Why? Because it is the most racially diverse. Uh, we have a different political ideology to the rest of the country. Uh, the Western Cape is the only province that has never voted for the ANC or any of these types of uh, racist policies. So the Western Cape is the most multiracial and uh, we want to have a true rainbow nation in an independent Cape. Now let me ask you about racism. There's been several uh, reports of um, racism, particularly because we're here in Brackenfell High uh, where even a diversity committee was established to, um, to filter through those complaints of racism and racial discrimination. Sorry, what's the question? The question is, what about the racial reports, the racial discrimination reports that have been coming into the school through the diversity committee that was established? Because a lot of 
uh, students, particularly the black students, were feeling excluded and racially discriminated? Uh, that's a political agenda. This is a political agenda driven by the EFF. And, uh, you know, you, you could present the exact same case for, um, you know, if, if there were schools where there were majority black students. Um, and all you need to do is to go into social media, look at private house parties from uh, high schools in areas like Kailicha or Guguletu, and uh, you know you could lodge similar complaints. And it's just ridiculous. The the students were not racist. Uh, uh, we've we've discussed um, we've had discussions with many of the the students here, the parents and the residents, and these are not racist. So the Cape Party leader is basically saying the opposite of what the EFF member is saying. They are literally on opposite sides of the fence, like literally, because there was a fence separating the EFF and the rest of the Brackenfell members. Now, the Cape Party leader was talking about uh, an independent Western Cape, independent from South Africa, I suppose. And, you know, I thought about it. I was like, getting independence from South Africa is quite simple. All you got to do is get yourself a passport and book yourself on the first flight out of South Africa. Now, when he's asked about the racism in Brackenfell, he simply says that it is just a political agenda. So, hey, this guy. Let's go back to the EFF member. This time around, I suppose maybe people were not really believing or buying that is an EFF member. He popped up wearing an EFF jacket. And this is what he had to say this time around. I've been a member since I was 18 years old. I'm 21 now. Is your grandfather a former DA leader? Yes, my grandfather was Leon Markovitz. Um, I believe the DA is a white supremacist party. And I'm trying to rectify the situation here today. We need to transfer the generational wealth and land to the disenfranchised people of this country. So what, what do you think of the residents being on the corner? I think they yearn for apartheid. I think they use neighborhood WhatsApp groups and PPA and private security to uphold apartheid in their neighborhoods. This exists in every single white neighborhood in this country. The only difference is that in Brackenfell it's more potent and violent. What do you think? Do you think the, a the EFF is justified to come here and to, to, protest, to protest outside? The, the I think school. they need to be doing more. I think we need to be taking this protest to Clifton and Houghton Park where the 20 million rand houses yeah. are. Okay. I think Brackenfell is not enough money here. These poor whites are angry and violent and they're bored with their life. We need to take it, we need to take it where the rich people have money and they're still making money off that land, which is all generational wealth passed down from their parents. Talk to us about um, the response of the WCED to this situation. Um, it's a DA situation. The DA is still a white supremacist party. Okay, They're not interested in solving the problems, the, the, the wounds of apartheid. Um, I have no faith in any DA government body to solve any situation. And how do you feel personally when you see, as a white person, as a young white person, you know, we're supposed to be this rainbow nation, you know, your generation... It's not a rainbow nation. Yeah. 94, we didn't fix the problem. Mandela sold us out. Yeah. We sold out Winnie. And today, and things like today, are part of the process of fixing that and healing these wounds. How do you feel about the uh, Cape Party being here? I think the Cape Party is a white supremacist organization. You see the way they dress, the way they're armed. They yearn for the old days. And I feel sad for them. They hold so much anger in their hearts. And Jack, the independence, Cape Party is calling for the independence of the Western Cape. Yeah. This is something that we've heard from the VF Plus leader as well. What are your thoughts? It's these white people trying to hold on to their generational wealth. They're scared of losing their land. There's very valuable land in the Western Cape. We need to take this land and transfer it to the people of this country. And I do not know. I'm still very skeptical about this kid. Is he trolling? Has he been captured? You know. But in all seriousness, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys thought about the EFF member talking about racism in Brackenfell. And also let me know what you guys thought about the Cape Party leader talking about the situation in Brackenfell and the Western Cape's independence from South Africa. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.